In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the lowest CPU processors possible. And if you guys are thinking, what do CPU processors have to do with your PC? Well, boys, the lower the processors you have, the lower strain is on your PC. Meaning pretty much when you're playing Fortnite or any other game, your delay will feel less, your frames will be higher, you'll not be stuttering, all of that good stuff. So if you watch till the end of this video and do everything that I say throughout this video to get your processors lower, you can expect all of that stuff. Well, boys, if I could ask for one thing in return, if you can quickly go down right now leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel it will mean so so much to me but without further ado let's get straight into it so boys how to get lower processors if you want to watch one video on how to get lower processors how many services disabled boys this has to be the one and this is what i'm about to show you now literally go on everyone do this as well go on task manager go on to performance cpu right here then look at your processors for me i'm on one through five that's because i'm editing a video i have google open discord open recording the screen right now so i have multiple things open that's why it's a bit high but on startup i'm around 60 65 around that stuff and this is why i'm quickly going to skim through it and then we'll go in detail look how many status i have stopped boys this took me so long to do and now i'm going to show it to you guys literally throughout this video look right here i bet none of you guys watching this video have many of these done but obviously i've done it all in my spare time and i'll share it with you guys now but one thing you guys need to do right now as well is head over to the description of this youtube channel and there will be my discord link obviously it's completely free you don't have to pay anything Jinji tweaking army we talk in general we send photos of our pc but one thing about this video that you guys need to do head over to the announcers page here are 24 services that are mentioned for disabling to improve performance here are the 24 main services disabled so if you just want to literally get this over and done with as quick as possible because obviously this is extremely excessive but if you want the best of the best pcs if you want a pc like a pro you will have to watch this video till the end i'm afraid it will take a bit of a while but of course here's 24 ones that are quite basic but still they'll reduce your delay so so much so just a quick way of doing it go over to the announcement page link in the description and literally just disable all of these completely fine to do by the way and i've also included like obviously fax service if applicable if you have it on your pc principle if you don't use a printer so any of that stuff so you don't need to worry about it so boys now let's get into the main part of this video some of you guys might be thinking jinchi what if you tell us to stop something which we're not actually supposed to stop obviously your pc is going to be different to mine well boys that's why we have the notepad right here which we'll keep referring to throughout this video obviously i hope you guys understand i'm not gonna be able to talk through every single service that i have stopped lxp svc boys this will take literal hours if i talked about every single one so if you guys want right now literally take a photo of this notepad unfortunately i cannot put this into my discord server as the message is too long i literally can't do it. i don't have discord nitro so you guys are gonna have to keep referring to this notepad remember near the start of this video so if you ever need help these are the only services that you should be thinking about if i should stop it or not stop it every single one is pretty much fine apart from the these okay so remember these are the only service that has that could be a maybe for you guys every other one completely fine now you guys remember all of these taking a screenshot do whatever you want to do with this notepad we're going to minimize this go back onto task manager and now we're going to start disabling now boys remember this for you guys this will take an extreme amount of time but for me obviously i'll just be scrolling down and remember you have to go into open services to start with then what you want to do instead of actually stopping it being a bit more on the safer side for example i'm going to do it with the active x right click onto it go on to properties remember i only say this once for you guys because i'm not going to make the video like two hours long like every other pc tweaker server status has to be stopped if it's ongoing or there's a number right here stop it first press apply and then you'll be able to change the starter type then on the starter type you might want to disable it but in my personal opinion because we're disabling so much i'd actually say put it into manual what manual does is once opening your pc it will not run but for example let's say we're going to stop the epic games launcher from opening up from the startup it's going to be on manual right when you press it it's going to work if i disable the epic games launcher service it's not going to open at all even when i press onto it so manual is still completely fine it's literally only going to work once you click onto it so it's so much safer than just pressing on disabled as then you will have to go through every single service to see which little service it is to actually enable it again so starter type in my opinion for this video go on to manual once you've done manual once you press apply once you press ok now let's get on to it boys you're gonna have to copy every single one and remember this is extremely excessive and this is what pro players use so i'll literally just scroll down very slowly of course you're gonna have to pause the video you're not gonna be able to do it this fast and still boys i am very sorry this like did take quite a long time to get to but i just want to make sure you guys are safe i don't want you guys disabling anything that you shouldn't be disabling now obviously i'll just keep scrolling down and remember to actually pause the video if you missed a couple by the way completely fine one little service that you miss isn't gonna matter 
matter too much obviously it's literally just a couple frames on the table don't worry about anything like that and again keep referring to the notepad if you're unsure about anything if the service isn't on the notepad and you're still like mm, do i actually keep disabling this or should i keep it on just keep it on boys for for your own peace of mind it's not too big of a deal just the ones on the notepad is just a brief overview of what you could actually disable if you are actually using it obviously that's why i put it there and again sorry i couldn't put it in discord or anything like that but again we'll still just keep scrolling down obviously i do have some completely disabled the ones i have disabled by the way you can also disable it too but the ones i have on manual i would not recommend at all you guys disabling just literally put it on manual it pretty much does the exact same thing if you click onto it then it literally just goes ongoing literally nothing to worry about as long as you're controlling it as you know it's on your pc it's completely fine to do now we're at the very bottom and i don't even want to know how long that took you to disable if anyone did disable and put them on manual leave it down in the comments how long that took you for me personally it took about like 25 30 minutes but let me know how long it took you guys once we're done with that we still got so many more tweaks to get those services lower one of which being the classic boys go on task manager and i know some of you guys forget to do this go on to startup right here i'll make it full screen for you guys every single status right here needs to be disabled the only ones that can't be disabled is if you're like a video editor like me i use nvidia broadcast for the camera right here that's how i have the blur in the background every single time i load up on my pc so i'm gonna enable that because i'm gonna load up no matter what anyway so literally why not make it more convenient have it already open so if there's anything like that for you guys make sure to enable it but for example adobe creative cloud i know it says startup impact none boys this will literally bring up your processors 30 google chrome another like 20 epic games another 10 just like that we're getting processors higher and higher so make sure status is disabled for every single one so right click onto it disable just like so once you do that i'm pretty sure you have to restart your pc once you restart your pc by the way you're literally going to notice your services should be lower if not we're still going to go throughout this video let's go on search bar right here search background apps click onto it just like so let apps run in the background of course more strain your pc let's say co-pilots running the background calculators running the background you don't need all that stuff microsoft teams massive one running the background make sure it's completely off you don't need any apps running the background trust me even if you use it like me i use some of these sometimes just make sure it's off simple as that well again you're gonna have to restart every single time you do this then your processes should go lower every single time remember comment down below how many processes you're at right now how many processes you're ending with because some people literally go from 180 190 processes which is absolutely ridiculous by the way to around 80 90 sometimes even 70 which is actually good for your pc and boys if you want your delay to be even less than it already is if you want your ping to be literally hard zero all the time you need to be downloading gear up down in the comment section all of the pros are using this right now and for free why would you not even give it a go it's literally just a ping booster load this up every time you before you go into fortnite and your ping will be always guaranteed to be lower it's actually incredible that's why all the pros are using it but without further ado boys i hope you did enjoy this video i'll see you guys on further on this week